about it right now, everything's okay. No matter where you find yourself, no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life, underneath it all, everything's actually all right. You're okay. You have more power than you might be giving yourself credit for. Going on in your life right now that's challenging, painful. It's just a reminder to take a little bit better care of yourself. Because you're worth it. You can have this feeling. Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to another vlog. This video is going to be a weekend video because Courtney and I have quite a bit of plans that are exciting <laughs> for the weekend. It's also off, and it's going to be scorching hot in Cape Town. I think tomorrow is going to be 38, day, Courtney. Like 38. 36, 38. Yeah, 36, 38, and then Sunday, also similar um, temperatures. I'm not sure what today is, but. Oh, so do. So it's Friday today, and um, we are dressed. I just had my daily meeting. We are off to my boss's house to collect the company card. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know that my MacBook Air died. It is dead. I was in the middle of editing the previous video. That video I had to edit on my work laptop, my MacBook Pro, so that I could just have something up. But I literally died in the middle of doing that video. And also, I had one of my travel videos already done. And I just had to, I had to export that video so I lost all of that so I have to go and purchase a new MacBook this is the first time I'm actually gonna go and purchase such a big and expensive purchase I don't think I've ever spent this amount of money so the laptops that I have are actually work laptops um, that the company gives us the MacBook Air was actually my work one and then they were every time there was something that I had to replace and so they were like you know what you can actually have that laptop for your own and then they gave me the Pro so I was using that for personal use because it ended up being and I got quite a lot of years I mean I got almost two years out of that laptop so yeah and then Gordon and I went back and forth as to what we should do next should I take it in for repairs should I get the little USB 3 so I could use my work laptop which I was like a no no I didn't want that at all because I'm gonna keep the two things separate because the pro is not my property it's the works property but then we also like I don't have my own personal laptop and if I decide to leave my second oh, my second job my first job i would have to give that property back which means i won't have a laptop of my own we decided i needed to get a new one and obviously i'm just gonna get the cheapest one which is the macbook a 13 inch that's the cheapest and with that unfortunately i have to get like a usb cd which the old macbook a has those ports where you've got the csd where you can put in the cs the cd oh and one of the memory cards in usb stuff I don't know what you call it and like my card reader but the new ones don't have that so you have to buy like an external thing of course which is like almost also 2000 again so i asked if i could use the company's card to make the purchase not that i don't have my own money i do i will purchase it through the company so that that way i don't pay that <laughs> I know it's sneaky, but if I can save a little bit of money somewhere, great for me. So that's what we're gonna do. So I have to go collect the company card quickly. My boss lives literally down the road. And then we need to buy. The other thing that I did was I spilled coffee the morning of when my laptop died. So I think this was a sign, but I spilled a whole cup of coffee on the on the carpet. And I need to find something to get this out. And Courtney needs to finally paint our bedroom wall he did not do it like i previously mentioned in the last video i am doing it today i'm gonna paint he's I'm gonna paint. painting today, today. today. we will see um uh, maybe like i'm repeating this probably gonna repeat it in every video but he says he's gonna paint when you <laughs> come back home <laughs> i'm gonna paint i'm gonna cancel every other plans that i have and i'm gonna paint 
we what plans do you have? From the morph. What plans do you have? Whatever plans I wanted to do. Which is? I'm sorry, that's okay. <laughs> Anyway, and then Courtney and I have a finance meeting this evening. So Courtney and I have a finance meeting just like a few days before payday so that we're on the same page and we also need to discuss what the year is going to look like. So we do financial planning. That's great. So yeah, let me quickly get all my stuff and then we are off. Oh my god, here yeah, is my MacBook Air and I had to buy this multi-board thing as well. But I'm going to open it. I'm so excited, I'm like a child. I also want to acknowledge my privilege to actually be able to purchase such a thing like this. And I must say, I mean, yes, I'm, de I'm debt free, but our household isn't debt free. And um, look, it does kick us back, a it does kick us back quite a bit. But I know that Courtney and I, we quite, for the most part, we're on track with, with, with our stuff. And we are a lot more disciplined than we were before um, in terms of finances. But I, I didn't think that I would ever purchase a new MacBook or something of this nature. Extremely, extremely privileged to be in this position. Yeah, I'm gonna open it up. My first time opening it up or taking off plastic of a new thing. <laughs> Anyway, so it is doing a software update and I just linked it to my iPhone but I really like the color, it's a dark color, really really happy and one of the other things I thought um, that I'll let you know that I struggle with is that when a thing is like really expensive or it costs a lot of money I struggle to get to the mindset of I'm gonna pay this amount now but it's gonna last me for X amount of years. I struggle with that concept of oh but it's gonna last me so much years versus like oh but I have to pay this money now. Like that concept just you know. But now I at least know that this piece of machinery is going to last me <laughs> for the next 10 years I could be. <laughs> It's <laughs> like like 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years. Courtney says it was lasting for 20 years. But I get it. I was also gonna get the new iPhone today. <laughs> because I have to phone the contract play that Courtney's worth. You have it cancelled today, but then we both looked at oh but I've had my first phone for five years. I it's the fifth year. It's still going strong. Like honestly, I have no scratch. I have one scratch on here, but I'm very good at looking after my stuff. Like that's one thing about me. And so they said, no, they'll phone us back. Cause cause I was like, Stephen, I think you need a new phone. And just continue the contact that we have. It's going to set us back maybe I think two, almost three out of ten. If I take the new iPhone 13, besides the iPhone 8. So and like I said, it does, this doesn't bother me. But it's starting to get a little slow, the battery life. But um, they still phone me back. New stuff, but very expensive in the long run. But yeah, I'm just doing the software update and then I can start playing on my laptop. <laughs> oh my wow, god, God is finally painting this all. Yo, all three years later. Three years? No, that's one year was added up quickly. <laughs> You're awake now. Oh. You've been sleeping for two hours now, good man. The walls are this dry though. So we can put the bed back. I was gonna make food. The court is gonna go by so we can have this financial meeting called Nicole Hans. So I'm gonna put the keys on. Yeah. And then Quinn's gonna buy food and then we're gonna kumbaya on that couch over there and talk about our finances i have a lot of notes a lot of notes for you courtney because you are the bad spender between the two of us
good morning today is saturday and we are in the car i have work today and today they say that it's the hottest day on earth <laughs> apparently there's gonna be towns i think they said wellington is gonna be extremely hot like 48 degrees or something and i think cape town's gonna be like 38 degrees so um yeah i'm in the car we are going to the bank this morning because i need to open almost like a joint account um so i'm gonna open it on my name and then courtney will get a deal card and that's because when we were doing a finance meeting last night i it was long um we were doing a finance meeting last night we spoke about how we never we i always unsure about the money that we can spend and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open an account and then i'll put all the money that's left my basically like our access fund we're gonna put in there thank you i left my water in the freezer <laughs> and it's gonna be hot today and there's no aircon well i don't know if the aircon's working in at my workplace now but the fans are useless so you just need to stay hydrated on this hot day um but anyway getting back to it uh, so we basically put our access fund in there so say for instance if i only put a thousand rand in that account then cool then i can only spend a thousand rand on specific things like whether he wants beer or i want books or you want to go eat out or whatever if a thousand rand is done then it's done which means that if we wanted to do something we can't or like you know we need to keep ourselves kind of accountable for specific things and we realize we weren't doing that so this is just an extra you know finance layer that we need to deal with so i'm gonna go there quickly and then i'm gonna go to work and then this afternoon when courtney fetches me from work i need to go back to the ice store to get an upgrade on my phone so it's also gonna set us back maybe like a 300 grand extra um a month which i didn't want to do but my phone is slowly but surely dying because it's going into the fifth year so yeah that's what we are gonna do today and Courtney just told me he needs new glasses he didn't say he wants he said he needs so <laughs> he needs new glasses that's the glasses for too long now now it's finally breaking yeah so H he likes to buy his glasses at H or his sunglasses at h m so h m is right next to the ice store in cavendish so i'll just do that yes! i don't Sorry. think we're gonna go to the beach i think the beach is going to be very very full today and honestly i don't want to be uncomfortable in heat oh, and then still having a lot to pull it out there so i don't know what we are planning on doing the afternoon but we'll see as the day goes on it is almost six o'clock and we just got home from cavendish what an annoying day hey courtney it was so annoying we went straight after work because we didn't have the proper documentation when we were there yesterday i don't understand why they needed my documentations when it was an upgrade and they had all of my details but anyway maybe because i was doing it through the i store and not through mtm so we go we do it and then it was all verified and everything but then she i don't know what she did she put the wrong code in for the wrong for the wrong contract or wrong bundle so she had to do the application again so as she's doing the application we got the message to say was successful i think they needed like vetting the vetting process courtney got the sms saying like oh it was successful but on their side it wouldn't load it wouldn't say successful so we were there for two hours like it's hot frustrated i just came from work very annoying like when i tell you we thought we were gonna go with the iphone we bought the apparently with the iphone 13 you only get the cable you don't get the adapter so i had to buy the adapter the phone was there everything so we thought okay we're just waiting for this thing to refresh we thought okay let's buy this in the meantime because when we got there the ice store was really busy so like oh no they let us know again and we're like we cannot come for the third time to this ice store so it was so annoying so good and i would go have spoke both him and i well i don't know about him but i didn't have breakfast or lunch and my first time it was already past four and then i went quickly to exclusive books because I 
I think last year I showed you that one of our consultants he gave us each a exclusive books voucher but I wasn't sure what the value of it was and so we could create exclusive books and yeah I got two books let me show you what books I got two books I got was you and me on vacation I was like this is a book that I really want to read in the summer and then I keep seeing this book all over bookstagram and it's the spanish love deception so i got these two books i just played the difference i can't believe courtney's watching and the content too on etv and if you've seen all those memes about like endocon is still playing all these years and he's hilarious <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so Kun's gonna watch it and it's gonna make some chicken fillet. I told him last minute to make it for us. That face is yes! We went to go and buy cook sisters because it's Sunday. I mean, I'm still in pajamas, but I don't know what's going on with my phone. I couldn't got a nap. Oh, I just got the call now. Oh, what did you Sorry, say? While I was driving, and they said that uh, it's an IT problem, it's not the problem with the system or something. It's oh. not she logged the call for the IT people to sort it out, and then as soon as they respond to us, she will give me a call to get me now when you can collect it. Okay, so that's the issue. And the reason why they're telling Courtney is because it's Courtney's number, but it's on my name. Because <laughs> it's so confusing. <laughs> anyway, I guess it's an IT issue that because Courtney had an SMS saying it failed again, and I was like, I'm going this morning. I think it's God's way of saying I shouldn't get this phone. <laughs> like, I've overspent, like, I've finances and stuff. <laughs> and I was like, maybe this is God's way, because technically I didn't care for the phone. Courtney was insisting mostly for me to get the phone. I'm gonna make me some coffee, I'm gonna watch. Big Bang Theory and then on today's agenda something fun and it's boiling outside first and foremost but I'm gonna make food I'm gonna make lunch and then this afternoon because then I'm gonna go bowling so Could you make lunch? Can you believe it? Potatoes, chicken, clom oh. rice. You literally have the least rice. Rice pochi. So we literally are gonna go bowl today. <laughs> and it's 35 degrees. So let's go bowl and cook, man. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> you see how he's going on here with me about you need to go <laughs> So I won overall because he ended up playing two games. Cause By two points only. When you two people it goes quick. If you more, if you like more people, and then it actually goes nice and fast. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being with us on this weekend vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a lot of me complaining, I suppose. <laughs> With the ice store, but it's so much fun now. There's so much traffic because we live close to the beach, so lots of traffic and almost made an accident because of some stupid person. But anyway, we're not gonna go into that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thanks, <laughs>